right, I gotta get ready for my challenge. I should probably clean off the countertop as well. I'm looking like a hot mess because I just got off of work and it's 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> I can't see exactly what I'm doing. Did I get it? All right, guys, I got my cute little apron on. I got from Hobby Lobby. Go check out their aprons. They're so cute. Yeah, so, okay, my table is dirty. Let's use my new spray. Hmm, I see why it was on clearance. <gasps> It's sprays, oh my gosh. <sighs> All right, the surface looks clear. And yeah, and in case you are wondering, I am not wearing any pants under this apron, so. I am doing this challenge. I was invited by Isabella. I don't know who she is, but apparently she's some kind of rep through this knife company, Nakano Knives. I don't even know if I said it right, okay? I'm gonna be doing their challenge. She sent me a little invite. So basically what I need to do right now is cut up some fruit, because it's a fruit challenge. You cut up the fruit and you place it together with toothpicks and create something magical, something fun to look at, um, such as an animal. You cut different shapes into the fruit and create different animals. I don't know. I've never done this before. I'm not really good at cutting in general. So <laughs> hopefully I don't cut any of my fingers off because I need those for my DIY. But I figured I would go ahead and grab some fruit. Is lemon a fruit? I grabbed some fruit from the grocery store today so I could participate in this challenge. I do want to use like a cutting board probably. I think I'll pull out. I have like a bazillion and I'm like I don't know which one I want to use. <laughs> okay I think we're just gonna use this one. Okay whatever. And then I have these crappy knives from Farber. I'm blinded, okay. Farber wear knives. Almost cut myself. <laughs> All right, so this is what I'm going to be using to like cut up my fruit and I'll get some toothpicks and we'll go ahead and get started. And then I'm going to put the camera down here so you can see what I'm doing. So I am going to need like a display board <laughs> to display it on. We are going to be using my nice board here to display the masterpiece. Oh, and I'm going to use this board to cut up my fruit. I got to figure out what I want to cut up first. I really just have no idea. I think avocado is a fruit too. This is kind of hard though. So I'm like, I don't legit. I guess just we'll get started. I will be leaving a link down below so that you guys can vote for me. Even if I don't do a good job, but please vote for me for this challenge. Stop it. Quit running around. So like I was saying, um, the challenge basically is who, you get so many votes on your picture online. So I'm going to be putting this on my Instagram and sharing it on my Facebook and hopefully you guys can share it as well on your social medias and ask your friends and family to vote for me. So many votes get a prize or something. I think it was like fifth, fifth, at least 50 votes I win a knife from them. So hopefully I get that to that point. But if you get first place, you win a trip for two to Japan. Second place was like a camera and third place was, you know, I don't remember. <laughs> That's okay. This is all for fun anyway. I just figured like, whatever, we'll start cutting stuff up and put it together with toothpicks. Okay. I'm trying to like even think of an animal. I don't even know what kind of animal I would want to do. I like the shape of this. I think I'm going to get another lemon. That looks like that one. Okay, so those could be used as uh, something 
don't you guys think? I'm not really too sure what. Maybe an eyeball of some sort. I don't know. This is so hard. <laughs> It really is. I don't know what to do with the banana either. This is like giving me anxiety. I don't know what to do. You guys stop it. You're driving me nuts. Ugh. I don't even know what animal to do. I could do like a cat because they're driving me insane. You guys stop running through the house. Okay, let's just get started because I don't have all night to be sitting here like wondering what the heck I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this off because I feel like I could use that piece of the fruit as like an eyeball or something. Oh my, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. This could be like the body. You guys stop it. I really hope I don't cut myself during this process. I legit don't know what I'm doing. So hopefully this turns into something at the end. Okay, I think I can use these seeds as something as well. So we'll keep those out. Put those in a group. Okay, this could totally be like a mouth of some sort. So, okay, I think I decided what I'm gonna make. I think I'm gonna do like a fish with teeth, right? That'd be like too easy or what? But I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, that'd be cute as like a bee, wouldn't it? Ugh, what does a bee look like? I forgot. Give me the toothpick. I'm thinking this could be like a like a bumblebee and do like arms or something. It still needs like a head. So the back of it needs to be like striped. So I'm thinking like I'll cut into it like this. Oh my. Okay, we'll just, oh no. That's a little part where it would sting ya. Ooh. Okay, so <laughs> then we'll put this part together. I think it needs to be a little bit smaller. Maybe it looks okay. It probably does. So. All right, that's together. Then I need like a chunk for the head. Okay, we'll just like use a part of the banana. Oh my, it just doesn't look right. <laughs> I don't Okay, so that's the head. I want to use some of these seeds to pop in the front. Oh my gosh, look how, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm thinking using maybe banana peel as like the legs or something where I could, as the wings. I mean, they're not going to be, like, super legit. We'll just fold them like that. What are you doing? Get out of there. Azalea, come on. Okay, we're going to break that in half. I think they go on, like, the side, and then we'll just break through it. Okay, 
I mean, it's it looks like a B, right? <laughs> and then I need like I feel like I need the little antenna. Let's try this thing. You guys probably can't even see me cutting. Ugh. This is literally so hard for never doing this. I think it looks pretty good. Back, right? <laughs> This is actually kind of fun, to be completely honest. Did not think this was gonna be fun. And here I am like trying my best. And it's, I mean, it's not like, not the best, but. <laughs> um, this would be right about there. Ooh. And then we need a even longer piece. Oh, I'm gonna stab myself. Come on, ya, ya piece. Okay, I think she's done. I love her. I mean him or whatever. Probably has like another like set of wings, but this is what is gonna happen. I made a bee. Don't look at my underwear. Ah! And here is the bee I made from fruit. I think it's pretty legit. You guys know I tried and <laughs> I think the head is a bit small, but honestly, whatever. Definitely looks like a bee. I mean, could be. I don't know that it's, it's just not, I don't know. Well, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to vote for me. I will be leaving the link down below so you can click on there and vote for me so I can win some knives. I need some better knives. I have barberware. In all reality, you don't have to vote for me. If you don't want to, I did join the contest, the challenge. So I wanted to share a whole video on making this whole process. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys had fun in this one and you know, nothing's nothing serious. See you in the next video. Bye guys.